considering the rising insecurity ravaging many parts <laughs> of Nigeria, it will not be out of place to say schools are under siege. A report by the United Nations Student Fund, UNICEF, has shown that in 2021, 25 schools in the country were attacked, while 1,440 students were abducted. Meanwhile, six suspected bandits, including two females, were killed on Saturday night after troops of the Nigeria Army repelled an attack on Mariri community on the outskirts of Guso, capital of San Francisco State. Wali, let's look at this now. That if this compilation, according to UNICEF, mm. has shown that in 2021 alone, 25 schools, 25 schools were attacked and it affected 1,440 students. Mm. It became a, like a cash cow. These bandits yeah. abducting students, getting ransom for their parents directly. Mm. At the point in time, gov <laughs> the government, state government left them to their fates and they were interfacing with the, uh, the parents. Some, they were interfacing with, um, with the churches. Mm. It's a very unfortunate report. The UNICEF focus on, it's a global report. You know, talking about the right of children and uh, mm. their involvement in conflict. And it was discovered that most of these uh, violations happen in West Africa and Central Africa, with Nigeria as one of the focal points. You know, where you have a situation where um, over 3,500 um, children, we are talking of people below 18 years, are uh, involved in an uh, armed conflict. Mm. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a very gloomy report. Because children, if, yeah, children, you know, over 3,000, yeah, 3,500 involved in armed conflicts. Mm. That's in Central Africa and also, you know, in in, a, in a, involving Nigeria and in Central Africa, West Africa and Central Africa. And in the case of Nigeria, we are talking about, you know, um, 25 schools, you know, that were attacked, and also um, a lot of children, you know, that were killed, and some were engaged in conflict. And if you look at um, the global trend, uh, children are very precious. As far back as 1989, the you know, international leaders met and ratified the UN Convention. It's the, most, it's the most popular convention ratified by about 196 countries all over mm. the world. Very popular treaty. And Nigeria is also a signatory. And the idea is that children are vulnerable. They are young. They must have they are not just objects. They must be treated as human beings. Mm. They must have access to health, access to nutrition, access to, to, to grow and, you know, and, and to develop themselves. Because they are helpless, they need the support of the society, they need the support of the government. So, but in this case now, we have a situation where, according to that report, 35% of children in Nigeria you know, do not make it to secondary school mm. after primary school. So I think it's a very gloomy report that you give us a lot of concern. 10.5 million children are out of school, school in Nigeria. So we, we need to take it up because these are the people that are supposed to lead this country tomorrow. If they are not given the appropriate opportunities, they are going to grow up to hunt us, to be involved in banditry, to be involved in armed robbery, and happen? to make everyone sleepless. Mm. So, so I hope the government will take this report very serious and look for mm. a decisive response that can deal with the problem. You know, these damning reports. Now I have a fair idea of, you know, now the, the level of unemployment out of school children. Mm -hmm. Now we now have young, young lads mm -hmm. carrying AK 47 all around, posing as bandits. This is the end product. Yes. When we don't engage them, the, 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 you know, Boko Haram has done so much damage to our country. When you go to the northeast, I visited an orphanage. Hmm. I posted the picture. A lot of people, I posted the video. A lot of people wept while they were watching the video. Hmm. Are, that orphanage, there are 200 children. They are all orphan, orphaned by Boko Haram insurgency and banditry in the northwest. There are some of them from Adamawa, some from Zafara, different states like that. Now, you see a governor Zulum building mega schools. Zulum alone has built 21 mega schools. Why do they need mega schools? Because 
there are too many orphans and those orphans are already out of school when they say 10.5 <laughs> i just laugh it should be more than that. There is no way mm -hmm. they won't be close to 20 million mm -hmm. now, given what we are seeing in Zafara, given what we are seeing in Kaduna, given what we are seeing in Kasina. Mm -hmm. A lot of students mm -hmm. can't go to school. Mm -hmm. That is a fact. So, the figure of 2013 that we are still banding about, that's true, that's it true. is a lot mm -hmm. higher when now. It's not even conducive. Mm -hmm. it's, worse even now. it's worse now. It's worse now. They can't send their children to school. You can't what? That one, before that figure came out, there had not been Chibok abduction hmm. after chibok abduction there had been others children are discouraged from going to school hmm. their parents too are scared so if That's you didn't was. have you if you didn't have a governor for example who thought about setting up mega schools to accommodate the quantum of students because in one school you have like 70 classrooms hmm. those mega schools there was one in Bulunkutu. We will see how big it is. Now, if you have 70 classrooms, it's because there are too many kids to cater for. And when you see these kids, you will tell yourself, ah, this one school easily be my own children. Mm. It is not their fault. Mm. They are not the authors of conflict. Mm. But they are suffering from it. And why are they going after schools? Because they know that they will get more ransom. Secondly, there will be publicity. No matter how people attack us as press men that, oh, they like bad news, uh, they, uh, bad news make them happy. The truth is, you can't hear that a school has been stormed mm. and I mean, innocent was. children have been picked up and you will not want to do a story. Mm. You have to yes. announce it. You have to make noise about mm. it so that government can do something quickly. Mm. So this is the thing. They keep attacking those schools. Well, ultimately, what can we, what can we now do? You know, especially areas that we need massive intervention, like the north. You know, a lot of work that we need to do. It's not a one-dimensional thing. You know, first of all, you need to tackle unemployment. Yeah. You need to tackle job creation. Then you need to redesign the Almagiri system. Originally, yeah. Almagiri is not a, you know, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. No, it's about people going from one place to the other seeking knowledge. But it has been bastardized, mm -hmm. as even admitted by the Sultan of Sokoto. Yes. You know, it's from the Arabic word Mujarin, which means going from one place to the other seeking knowledge. But you know, in those days they asked them to go from one place to the other to go and look for knowledge. But mm -hmm. these days it has been bastardized because these children are exploited and recruited, mm -hmm. you know, for, for, for evil purposes. Mm -hmm. So they need to redefine that system. Then you need to tackle corruption. Because when funds that are meant for public welfare are stolen by individuals, mm. there's no way you can provide public utilities. Then the question of drugs. Mm. There's too much access to drugs by young people. Mm. You that's know, a lot of tens, that's a lot of people of people of So the NDLA needs a lot of work to do. Not you know, not in Nigeria. Nigeria. So most of these people, people that just kill, working, you know, but they are all that's the difference of no, 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 drugs. So then the family system needs to, needs to be redefined. You know, we mm. need to de redefine our values that places emphasis on humanity, not just about wealth and power, but about humanity. Do you know that so, I was mm. reading one story, something that happened in the UK? Ch was it UK or the US? Children protested yeah. that their parents are placing too much accent on their phones, mm. that they are not looking after them the way they should yeah. that it is phone 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 mm. phone phone yeah that and parents it's happening here, it's, yes. and it's happening here. Yeah. you see mm. nigerians uh, they're already crazed yeah. by their phones even when they tell you you don't know what's happening the next thing is to, no. to no. want to video it they will not switch it. out their phones no, no, they no, are no. waiting until they come to them to mm. say switch off their yeah. phone are you saying that you will die if you do not press this phone mm. in one day <laughs> after all we had a life with with before, before August okay. 2001. We had a life. <laughs> so this, this, this is the this is the thing. So children protested. These days, many parents don't even go into their the bedroom of their mm. children. They don't know what they are going through. Yeah. They don't they don't check their phones mm. to try to get information about the kind of friends they keep. Mm. They leave the teachers to do the bulk of the work. Mm. Mm. Parents have become more and more irresponsible. Yeah. Mm. They are not they are not focusing so on their, their own home. Mm. And mm. even the etiquette breeding, 
that children need, mm -hmm. more and more parents are failing yeah. in their responsibility of providing yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So you see a child that you thought was a good mm -hmm. child mm -hmm. because you are not paying attention mm -hmm. to him. That child had joined the band yeah. By the time you realize it, it's already too late for mm -hmm. you. Remember the case of the boy who murdered his father mm -hmm. inside Redemption Camp yeah. mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. cut his From father pieces, into pieces, pieces mm -hmm. and put him in a travel mm -hmm. bag. Mm. It's you know? quite unfortunate. So, a child that you not expect could go mm. to that length, yeah. mm. that is a failure of parental upbringing. Mm. All right.